In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of a rail track. In following tutorials, I'll show you how to make an animation of a vehicle following a track. And I'll show you how to control a vehicle on a track in the Blender game engine. Change the view from perspective to ortho. Change the view to the right view. Click the plus to open up the properties panel, scroll down, tick background images, open up the panel, click add image, scroll down, click open. You need an image of the cross section of a rail. You can get one from Google image search or you can download this one from my website. Drag to close the properties panel, zoom in with the mouse wheel, Go into edit mode, press X on the keyboard to delete all the vertices of the cube. Hold down the control key and left click to insert a vertex. And I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. To add a point, press E to extrude and place the new point and click. E to extrude, place and click. E to extrude, place and click. Now the track section is going to be repeated many times so to make a reasonably low polygon count model I'm not going to insert too many points I'm going to go around quite roughly. I can always move points, merge points and add points if necessary afterwards. E to extrude, place, click. E to extrude, place, click. To move a point, simply select it, press G to grab and move it. Select G to grab and move. To complete the outline, I'm going to apply a mirror modifier. Drag to make the properties window wider, click the modifiers button, click the add modifier button and add a mirror modifier. Now I'm in the right view reflecting about the Y axis so untick the X axis, tick the Y axis, go into object mode to apply the modifier and back into edit mode. Select, shift select, press F to make edge, select shift select press F to make edge change the view to the front view press A twice to select all press E to extrude X for the X direction 1 and enter while I'm in edit mode press A twice in the mesh menu normals recalculate outside go into object mode change shading to smooth Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, and there we have our track cross section. Press S to scale, point 0.2 and enter. Press S to scale, X for the X direction, 12 and enter. And dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. In the object menu, transform origin to geometry. To make a sleeper, add mesh cube, go to its object properties, set its X scale to be 0.4, its Y scale to be 4, and its Z scale to be 0.2. Set its Z location to be 0.2. Select the rail, set the X location to be 0, and I'm going to set the Y location to 2.5 and the Z location to 0.88. Drag to make the properties window wider. Click the material button. Now the rail is linked to the default material. I'm going to rename that rail. Select the sleeper. Click the add new material button. Click the diffuse color and Brown is a dark orangey colour. 
Select the rail, hold down shift, press D and enter to duplicate. Click the object button and set the Y location of the duplicate to minus 2.5. Hold down shift, select the original rail and the sleeper and click the join button. And name the joined object track. Change the view to the top view. Click the plus to open up the properties panel and untick background images. Drag to close. Press S to scale, 0.5 and enter. Add curve circle. Press S to scale, 32 and enter. And zoom back with the mouse wheel. Click the object data button for the curve and set the resolution from 12 to 36 to give a smoother curve. Select the track, click the modifiers button, click the add modifier button and add an array modifier. Click the add modifier button again and add a curve modifier and set the object of the curve modifier to be the Bezier circle. Set the count in the array modifier to be 160 and click on the right arrow to keep adding array elements until there is just a small gap in the track. In the array modifier, tick merge. Click the apply button to make the modification permanent. Click apply in the curve modifier. In the outliner window, select the Bezier circle and press X to delete it. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.